there guys, my name is Coach Shadogs the Board Book Built for Theme Park News and we have some breaking news from Walt Disney World Resort in Florida. This of course is for three closures at the Walt Disney World Resort across two of its theme parks. We got the uh, nighttime show Rivers of Light from Disney's Animal Kingdom and also from Animal Kingdom we got the closure of Primeval World, the Revachon Spinning Coasters and of course we've got the closure, the confirmed closure of Disney Magic Kingdom's Stitcher's Great Escape Attraction. So we were talking about all of that with the uh, news uh, spoken in an article. Now I've already said this news uh, on my community page so if you want to check out the article it's on there as well but it will be in the description down below as well from Blog Mickey and um, big shout out to Blog Mickey for the information used in this video. Uh, but before we get into it, here is how you guys can interact with Kershaw YouTube channel. If you've loved this video, make sure you hit the like button below. Make sure you also comment down below your thoughts and opinions on the video topic. And also make sure you subscribe to Coach Chai YouTube channel for more. And click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. Please share the channel with your friends, your family and our social media. And make sure you also comment down below your video suggestions which will be saved. Your shout outs which will be saved for the next day's videos. And also make sure you send in your merchandise continuously on Instagram and Snapchat. The links for both are in the description down below and I'll save your merchandise pictures with your name and location for the next merchandise showcase video. Also make sure you get your questions in the comments down below. Use the hashtag question before or after your question and they will be saved for our 2000 subscriber Q&A. Also guys make sure you reach that subscriber goal of 10,000 subs in the next 365 days and counting. If we do that I will release Coaster Channel merchandise on a new website as well as has other projects I've got planned for the long-term future. Let's get into another thrilling video. So according to Blog Mickey, in a memo to cast members, Disney have officially announced the closure of two attractions and a nighttime spectacular. Perhaps the most surprising of the closures is the permanent closure of Rivers of Light, the nighttime spectacular at Disney's Animal Kingdom. Disney didn't offer a reason for the decision yet, but with shorter park hours, Animal Kingdom has been closing at 6pm nightly. Also confirmed were the permanent closures of Primeval World and Stitcher's Great Escape. Now Primeval World recently operated during high attendance, attendance times but Stitcher's Great Escape has been closed for quite some time now. Disney has yet to provide more details but when they do we'll be sure to keep you updated and of course like the vlog, vlog says they'll keep you updated and also here at Coast Chal we will keep you updated on the recent details as well. So there we go, not much to say on paper with the stats that we know already and I'm sure, like I said I'll probably release another video uh, when more details get announced about the reasons why they're closed but I thought I'd use this as an opportunity, this video, to speak about the first details of what's been happening uh, speak about my first reactions and also what I think could replace them. Now I'm going to go straight away uh, with what could replace them. Now, Rivers of Light, I'm not sure. Primeval World, I'm not too sure. Stitch's Great Escape, I think we all know what's coming. Now, I spoke about in an early Disney video months ago um, about the fact that a brand new Wreck-It Ralph attraction has been planned for the future at Magic Kingdom on the site of Stitcher's Great Escape. So they changed the, the theatre spacing around and they changed it to fit this brand new Wreck-It Ralph attraction design. So it's very, very clear now that the Wreck-It Ralph attraction is moving quite quickly with the closure of Stitcher's Great Escape permanently. It's very, very clear they want to try and move ahead with this Wreck-It Ralph attraction development. Uh, so I definitely know that the Wreck-It Ralph attraction is coming. Uh, I mentioned it on the article uh, between 2022 and 2025 maximum. I think between those years, 2022 and 2025 is when I'll see the, the Wreck-It Ralph attraction at Stitch's Great Escape uh, site in Magic Kingdom. Primeval World. Now, obviously it's been operating in high attendance times, like Blog Mickey has said, but this is still an interesting closure. Now, there's been a lot of critics about Primeval World in the community. The fact that you know maybe it didn't really, but you know, it didn't really belong in Disney. Uh, so a lot of people won't miss Primeval World. So I think some people will be glad of that to close. And it will be interesting to see what they do with that site. Now, over in Animal Kingdom, along with Primeval World, and you know what? After seeing the the full, and to be fair, when I found out about this news last night, before I went to bed, I actually watched a full showing of Rivers of Light and you know what I'm a little bit gutter because I wanted to see that show for real um, 
So it's a nighttime show. Um, the thumbnail image, of course, is one of the sections of Rivers of Light. And um, yeah, it's it, it's a sad one, to be honest, because Rivers of Light, I thought, looked absolutely beautiful. So I think whatever they've got planned to replace that, I mean, whether they're going to replace it or not, I'm not too sure. If they are going to replace it, I sincerely hope you put in just as much a beautiful show as Rivers of Light. Um... So it's an interesting one. It's definitely an interesting one. So obviously we don't really have much else to say on this matter at the minute until more details, you know, have come out and we can make a fair judgment on those reasons why they've closed. Obviously Stitcher's Great Escape, we have an inkling that it was closed because it's been closed for quite some time. So, you know, rather than reopening it, it's best to, you know, permanently close it and, you know, confirmed it's going to be closed. Uh, and of course, like I said, with the Wreck-It Ralph attraction development, I'm so glad they're going to make a Wreck-It Ralph attraction, or they plan to make a Wreck-It Ralph attraction for that site. So, uh, like I said, go and see that video. On the, I'm going to link the Disney theme parks post at the end of this video with the rest of the stuff linked to the end. Um, so you can check out that video that I spoke about with the rumours of a, of a Wreck-It Ralph attraction replacing the Stitch attraction at Magic Kingdom. But I think this closure permanently of this attraction, the this, this Stitch attraction, definitely confirms to me they're gonna move ahead with this Wreck It Ralph attraction. It's not really a rumor anymore. I think we put I think I'm really putting two and two together here, you know. They've announced the permanent closure of the Stitch Great Escape. Um, there was rumors it was gonna get replaced by Wreck It Ralph. Put two and two together, you get a new attraction. So I think that one's pretty easy to see why it was going to permanently close. Primeval World, I was kind of 50-50. You know, people you might not have liked it in the Disney Park or Revachon Spinning Coaster. But on the other hand, it was operating during the high attendance time. So it's a bit of a sudden closure, really, even though maybe people won't miss it as much. But Rivers of Light has really shut the world of Disney theme parks. Really shut the light and shut the light. Rivers of Light. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but it's I'm a bit obviously serious. It's really shooken the fabrics of the Disney theme park community. Um, so it'll be interesting to see why that one closed as well. Maybe it's something to do with entertainment and maybe linking to COVID-19. I know it was a nighttime show where it's projections and water effects and stuff like that. Uh, so you couldn't really touch anything. But maybe it's something else to do with the COVID. Maybe it's something completely different. Um, we'll see. We'll see. We'll, we'll see when more details come out. And of course, I'll release another video. Uh, when more details come out about these closures. But for now, guys, thank you very, very much for watching this video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. And like I said, when more details are released, I will release another video on this. But for now, guys, thank you very much. Disney's gone through a bit of a phase, haven't they? Um, Epcot's, you know, postponed, uh, postponed the Mary Poppins attraction, the Spaceship Earth refurbishment for now. Um, that's still going ahead, but that's been delayed. But the Mary Poppins attraction has been postponed. And obviously... We know with the Main Street Theatre project they had when they said they postponed it and then of course it didn't end up happening. So um, postponed could be cancelled, we don't know. So there's a lot of things being, you know, called off at Epcot and around the Walt Disney World at the minute. So thank you very much guys, Kill on the Coast Life, and I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care guys, have an awesome day.